Hello everyone. Today we will talk about one of the most liked characters in the Skibidi Toilet series, the Double Plunger Cameraman, also known as the Ninja Cameraman. Lately he has been showing up a lot more. He also has been getting upgrades and improving his battle sense along the way. When I asked which character analysis you guys wanted, almost everyone selected the Plunger Cameraman option, so in this video we'll discuss where the Plunger Cameraman came from, how he trained to become like this. Why is he better than other cameramen, and what he'll be doing to win against the Skibidi Toilets in the war to become one of the most respected war heroes in the world of Skibidi Toilets? Watch the video until the end so that you don't miss any interesting secrets. Also make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these analysis videos. You can also comment down below which theory video you want to see next. Anyways, here we go. As you know, the Plunger Cameraman is one of the main characters right now, but that wasn't always the case. He started off as a side character, being foreshadowed at first is what you might think, but we actually got a glimpse of him even before his presence was shown to us. But before that, let's talk about Black Cameraman, since the Plunger Cameraman is one of the Black Cameraman. Until Episode 8, only cameramen we've seen were the normal ones. But in Episode 8, we see an army of cameramen marching towards the Skibidi toilets that includes Black Cameraman. As you can see from their suits, we can't see the Plunger Cameraman being present in this fight, and we to this day don't know if Black Cameraman are stronger than normal Cameraman. The Plunger Cameraman might be a special case, but this begs the question of what if cameras that are black are a sign of power? Because as you know, one of the new characters that was introduced in episode 52, known as the Camera Woman, also has a black camera, and her powers are most likely on the same level as the Plunger Cameraman. In episode 9, we see a black cameraman that looks like has the same suit as the Plunger Cameraman that's escaping from the Skibidi Toilet Cops while dancing. We can't really know if this is the Plunger Cameraman because it's kind of hard to figure out if he has a red tie. But this black cameraman does have the vibes of a cameraman that's unique. And since we don't see any other black cameraman with the same suit color combination, it's safe to assume that this was the first time we saw the plunger cameraman, and it's before he had his plungers. This still might be incorrect, but we never see him get captured or killed in episode 9, and knowing the plunger cameraman, he always has something up his sleeve, so I really do think that it's him. After this point, the first time we see the Plunger Cameraman is in episode 43, but that's the first time we see him, not the first time we are introduced to him. In episode 39, we are watching a POV from a cameraman that's pretty skilled. This is the first time we see a cameraman use a plunger. And this was the first time we were introduced to the Plunger Cameraman, his POV of fighting against Skibidi Toilets. At this point in time, he didn't even have his second plunger and was fighting with just one plunger. This battle was one of his early adventures, and if it wasn't for TV men that were introduced in this episode, he most likely would have died, and we would have been left without a double plunger cameraman that we love and adore now. This fight most likely opened his eyes up and made him want to become more powerful. My guess is that after seeing how easily the TV men handled all the Skibidi toilets, he most likely started searching for ways to become more powerful since he already was unique and already was one step ahead of other cameramen because of his weapon. This also makes him one of the main inspirations to other cameramen and them trying to get on his level from what we can see in episode 53, but we'll talk about that later in the video, so make sure to watch until the end. After episode 39, we don't see anything related to the plunger cameraman until episode 43, and it's in this episode that we finally get to see him from outside. It's pretty clear that he only has one plunger at this point. We can also see that he has a red tie. But that does change in the later episode due to unknown reasons. Maybe he just wasn't digging the color, and he is watching the TV men that are about the fight with the Skibidi toilets. After what he experienced in episode 39, we can see that he is pretty relaxed. But to TV men's surprise, the Skibidi toilets have taken measures against TV men with their new sunglasses, and TV men just teleports and escapes leaving our heroes in the battlefield alone until an army of large cameramen and speakermen come for help, and we can see that our beloved hero taking his battle stance, being ready to fight, not even thinking for a single second. This moment most likely affected him even more after what happened. He most likely already was thinking that he needs to become stronger, but his allies leaving him in the middle of a fight should have given him a pretty big lesson. And from this point on, 
we see that he starts becoming more and more powerful after surviving the Skibidi toilet attack that day. We get to see him in episode 45 again, and he has so many destroyed Skibidi toilets next to him, which means that he is most likely killing them with ease. And he is unfazed next to a fight between the two titans who are going all out, but in this episode, something strange happens, and we are introduced to someone new, which I talked about in one of my other videos. As you know, this is the first episode that we saw the secret agent watching the battlefield. Weirdly, this entity usually appears when the plunger cameraman is there, and I'll mention the times he has watched the plunger cameraman later in the video. This episode doesn't really show us much about the plunger cameraman, but we can see that he still only has one plunger, and is most likely still training to become stronger and stronger going from battle to battle. In episode 48, we finally get to see him with two plungers. At the beginning of the video, he looks very chill, confirming with the POV cameraman that he will take care of everyone there. But sadly, in this episode, we can't see him fight since the POV cameraman turns his back while fighting, and we learn that the POV cameraman is plunger cameraman's friend that sat next to him in episode 43. They are a greatly matched duo in which one uses a melee weapon and the other one has a long-range weapon, but sadly, at the end of the episode, Plunger Cameraman's friend dies and it also looked like the Plunger Cameraman died in this episode too. But somehow he managed to survive the chainsaws and the explosion, which indicates that his damage resistance is very good, and at this point he is the most powerful cameraman after the upgraded Titan Cameraman. In this episode, we also get to see the secret agent watching him again inside a building. Maybe the secret agent is analyzing how the plunger cameraman is progressing and how he is different compared to other cameraman. Since everyone thought that he died in episode 48, no one was expecting his comeback in episode 50, which is my favorite episode so far in the series. If you do have a favorite episode, make sure to comment down below. Anyways, in this episode, we see that while everyone is running away, he is marching towards the battlefield menacingly on his own against giant upgraded Skibidi toilets that have found the cameraman base. This is a sign that he has no fear and is strong enough to go against the most powerful Skibidi toilets. But before he can do anything, the upgraded Titan cameraman comes back after many episodes and cleans up the battlefield. Here, the upgraded Titan cameraman most likely notices that the plunger cameramen are not backing out and are always ready to fight and decides to take him to the upcoming battles that he is going to. After this episode, we see the plunger cameraman again in episode 51's ending from the upgraded Titan cameraman's point of view when they are waiting for a fleet of helicopter skibidi toilets. We never see this battle happen, but my guess is that the upgraded Titan cameraman realizes that the plunger cameraman can't fly and fight against the helicopter cameraman, so he either goes back to the cameraman lab with the plunger cameraman and come back or send him there to get an upgrade, or plunger. Cameraman kills a Skibidi toilet with a jetpack and attaches his jetpack to himself because in episode 52, we can see that he now has a jetpack and an upgraded secondary camera that shines blue just like the upgraded Titan cameraman's core. This suggests that he has become a lot more powerful. He can now manuever easily in the air and has literally become a lethal weapon on his own. We are also introduced to the camera woman in this episode, and looking at their reactions, it looks like they knew each other before, and this is not the first time they meet each other. We finally get to see him fight a little bit at the beginning of this episode, but it's not much since the camera woman steals the show and kills every single Skibidi toilet in the vicinity. Also, we see the secret agent watching our beloved hero again in this episode from a rooftop. The pattern until now has been that the secret agent shows up where the plunger cameraman is whenever he gets an upgrade. Just like when he started using two plungers at the same time, and this time when he got his jetpacks, but we still can't know for sure if that's the case. In episode 53, we can see him leading the cameraman army with camera woman, but right he is about to fight the new upgraded Skibidi toilet. The upgraded Titan cameraman comes in and tries to take care of the battle until the new Skibidi toilet escapes, and this new Skibidi toilet is insanely fast, which I thought was a teleporting ability because it's so fast that it looks like teleporting, but if you pay close attention to the flames at the end when the Skibidi toilet is escaping, you can clearly see that he is accelerating to a point where it's impossible to see. Also, in this episode, we can see that every other cameraman was inspired by the achievements of the plunger cameraman, 
and now everyone has a weapon of their own. Plunger Cameraman's actions in episode 50 most likely inspired the whole race, and we are most likely going to see the Plunger Cameraman a lot more in the coming episodes because we've yet to see him fight, and the creator of the series keeps on teasing us, which most likely foreshadows a big fight coming that includes the Plunger Cameraman. We sadly have to wait until then to see our beloved hero fight without holding back. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss my newest Skibidi Toilet Analysis videos.